What's up, YouTube? Dan back again with another one. Man, would you look at this? Out of control facial hair right now. All patchy. I need a trim. Anyway, get all that. Yeah, so, remember I was telling you I was waiting for my shipment? Um, my shipment's here. So, um, well, not all of it, but... I got some of the bulk cool day here for you guys, so let's show you what's going on. Don't mind my plant. But yeah, there's my there's my big old box that's got a split in the side of it now because I dropped it, which is annoying. But yeah, here's my box. That's my shipment, guys. Um, I got excited, so I opened it before you guys. So before you guys, and this is basically I'm wearing it now. This is how the hoodie looks. So. It comes with a built-in mask, as you can see. And there's the pattern on the mask. You can see that really well in the light. Loves it. The pattern is on the inside of the hood as well. So, I think I showed you this, guys, before. But last time, the mask wasn't like this. But this is how I wanted it. So, as you can see, you can see the pattern on the mask. Pattern on the inside of the hood. Bring that down. Uh, on my aglets. Right, got DYLDN on the aglet there. Let me bring that back so you can see it. Right way. Right way. That's upside down. God damn it. Oh, it's back to front. Oh, it looks back to front to me, but it's probably the right way around to you guys. And on the other side, it's supposed to be the logo, but let me bring that in. As you can see, the logo looks like a hot mess. That's not how we want it looking at all. Um, other things that they got wrong on my bulk shipment. Um, uh, let's start with this. So, there's the logo on my arm, but it's supposed to be on the right arm. That's the left arm. Also, logo is supposed to be in silver. It's in black. I don't mind it so much. Not a huge deal. Um, but I just wish it was on the right arm because I wanted it on the right arm. Reason being that on my joggers, so we're going to go down here a little. Oh my joggers, it's on the right leg, see? Logo's on the right leg. So he's supposed to come up and logo be on the right arm to match it. But they didn't do that. So, you know, it is what it is. On the right leg we have, well, left leg, we have the same logo that's across the front of the chest. Um, Yeah, there's, it's the drawstring aglets have also got the words written on it. And a dodgy looking logo on the back, which makes no sense. I asked them to put it on there, but you'd think that um, they would use their discretion. As in, they would look at it and think, that doesn't look right. Let me let him know that it doesn't look right. So that he can then make the decision whether to keep it on or not. That's what my Chinese um, manufacturers do. If I ask them to do something for me, they will say... Okay, they'll try it, then they'll be like, no, it doesn't look right. Or they would at least show it to me and say, this is what it looks like. We're not quite sure if you want it like this. Do you want it like this? And then I can be like, yeah, no, maybe so. Do you see what I'm saying? But they didn't do that. These guys just did what I asked them and didn't factor in whether it looked right or not. You know, they just did it because I asked. Which is nice, but at the same time, come on, guys, use your discretion, you know, type thing. Um, but yeah, this, this, what I'm wearing now is a size medium, fits me quite well, comes with quite fitted, it's very comfortable, quite warm, fabric seems to be quite good. Um, uh, it was pointed out to me that it doesn't look black, black, as in like dark black, but, um, I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's something we can look into in terms of fabric. Um, obviously the next order I do will be um, I'll get them to make sure address the colour of the logo and the side of the body on which I want the logo to be put in make sure emphasise that fact um, take the logo off the back of the drawstring only on the only have DYLDN written on there um, yeah so let's get into it let's, let's get into this real quick let me just pull this box up real quick box is quite heavy let's flip the camera right so this is my big box 
this hat be looking it's like cane dpd delivered and stuff um yeah so here we go you got the packet there it's an extra large and look, i've even got my little my little label in there can you see that i've got my little label urban streetwear against the world collection um it's a double-sided label as well which is pretty cool and i actually didn't have to pay for the labels so i'm blessed that they did that and that's the other side label there disenfranchised youth london with the logo and everything the only thing that's slightly annoying for me is that obviously i did the label as a square so you can see where the pattern kind of stops see that there so it's supposed to be a square but they made it a rectangle but you know it's no big deal but that's it that's an extra large we've got some we've got a medium here medium here we've got some smalls as well let's have a look Ugh, there's a large we've got a large so if you know anybody that wants a, a fly track suit you know holler at your boy um yeah i'm putting a website up this evening but yeah it's cool right so this is what this is what my delivery typically comes in but i think this is only some of it this isn't all of it because um the other stuff is supposed to come because i in looking in this box i didn't see my t-shirts this is only trackies there's no t-shirts in here which is a bit annoying but yeah it's this this what it all look like got a big old box like this so i guess another box is yet to come um so i'm gonna be putting this up on my website Fam friends and family and all that they can come through and look at it um but what i did want to do with you guys is go through the quality right because obviously i would like to think that the quality is decent throughout however when i picked out this i noticed that although yeah it looks pretty cool it's not as sharp as it was on the sample so i mean it looks i still think it looks hella good but the things that i wanted to change on the sample were um well was this thing um and obviously the logo on the arm and those are the two things that were added they added the aglets like i wanted but like i said they missed out they put it in the wrong place and sorry for the dodgy camera treatment and um they put yeah they put the logo in the wrong place and it was the wrong color you know such as life and um, what else am i doing right so i'm going to open up this one open the one up for you let me turn the camera around again get off my right so we're opening up an extra large one here. so you can see how it looks Straight from the manufacturer, this is how it comes. So here we got the hoodie, you got your label right there. So this is how someone will receive it. They'll take it out of the bag, the bag's like this. I'm thinking of getting some stickers to put on the bag so that it makes it a bit more personalized. Maybe I might get some Ziploc bags as well. Bags like this, a Ziploc on the top. I just think it's a bit more professional, looks a little better. This is that cheap plastic bag and not feeling it. This is a lot better. Um, yeah, we've got the card here with the little words on the back there. You know, a little something that I came up with to stick on top of my clothes. Maybe you've got enough time to read that, if you can even read it. Um, we've got the, right, so looking at the hood. This one's actually not too bad, but if you see what I'm saying here, let's see, it's a bit must. Now on the sample, none of this was looking must like this. You see that? It's, the quality is not as good as the sample. It's like they just, I feel, you know when you always feel like they rushed it? I mean, it's still pretty good, you know, but I feel like they rushed it a little bit. I feel like they rushed it. Um, you got the logo on the front. Well, the anagram on the front. We've got the embroidery on the left arm, which should have been the right arm, in black. But I did request it to be in silver. So, 
Next time I'm going to ask for pictures throughout the process to make sure that things like this don't get missed. So that should have been silver to match the words. Um, let's have a look at the back. Make sure that the print on the back is pretty cool. So, is it me or does that silver look a little dull? Well, on camera it doesn't look dull, but with my actual eyes it doesn't look that bright. Maybe it's me, who knows, I don't know. Um, still sparkly though, so we like that. Um, what else we got here? Here's the bottoms. Now, this is something that I found that was annoying. I asked if I could have a button for the flaps, right? So my idea was this. They gave me a snap. I wanted a button. One button there, one button there. The reason for the, me asking for buttons is that a button, although that it may cover up the decor, it's not such an eyesore like the button is. See what I'm saying? Because the buttons would have been black. Yeah, the buttons would have been black, but the decor would have been fine. It wouldn't have just had this giant button here. And they didn't even paint it black. They just left it silver. Because I'm kind of like, whoa. Do you know, like, why? Why is it Why is it silver? I guess they thought it was trying to blend in with the L, but it doesn't really, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't blend in with the L at all. And if it was two buttons either side, yeah, I guess the button would have covered up this bit and maybe covered up that bit. But if you unbuttoned it, it would have still read fine. Do you know what I mean? I guess you'd only really button it if you put in something in that pocket that you don't want to lose. But, you know, maybe I'm just nitpicking. I'm just nitpicking. But, I, you know, it's something, again, I asked for one thing, they gave me something else. But, you know, I'm not going to be too annoyed at that. On the other side, same thing. Snap. The, the logo in black there. Looks pretty cool. It's not too bad. You know, it's pretty decent. The material feels lovely. Not gonna lie, it's good material. Feels good, feels robust, very comfortable to wear as I'm wearing it now. Trust me guys, I will tell you if it's not feeling up to par. Because this is all about us going on this journey together of me making my clothing label. So you guys need to know if I'm feeling it or if I'm not feeling it so that you can know whether to use these manufacturers yourselves or not. Now on the inside here, we have the label, the size, it's just got this. Um, now I do have an actual full size label that I had in this one, but they've only put it in the top, they didn't put it in the bottoms, which is fine. I guess you can see the square shape, stitch on the back there, so Let's try and turn it inside out real quick so that you can have a look at the label. Ugh. 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 Here we go. There's the label. See it there? There's the label. Ooh. And there's the size there. Now, I initially wanted the size on the label. I wanted the size stitched in there. But they didn't do that. They they decided they thought they would just do it like this. But still, it looks pretty cool. It still looks pretty cool. Got the made in Pakistan in here. My little stuff. You know, something I thought up to write on the label and stuff. Not that anybody's going to get to see that because of the turtleneck. And because of the turtleneck, when you're putting on the top, you know normally when you put on the top, you see the label. But because of this, you can't see the label. Because all you're seeing is this when you're putting the top on, and that gets stuck on your head a little bit because it's, it's supposed to be tight because obviously it's a mask, right? But yeah, that's the bulk order, guys. So it's come through. It seems all right. I'm not going to sit here and moan. No, I can't go through every single item and show you every single item. We'll be here all day, and I don't think anybody wants to sit there and watch a video of someone going through their entire inventory online. But yeah. We got the bulk order through finally so now we can begin selling Ooh, hopefully we get rid of this stuff rapid um you know fingers crossed and all that um i'm like, as, as excited as i am about receiving this 
um i'm still can't wait to see the stuff from china because that stuff from china is completely different it's next level stuff and that's my luxury item so this is my streetwear stuff i mean i'm proud of it you know i can wear this outside and feel like we're doing big things we're doing big things you know what i mean i feel like you know when i, I wore this outside wall on the way home but i was in a cab for most of the journey so i didn't I didn't really get to bless the streets with this garment, but I am gonna go and get something to eat in a minute, real quick. So, yeah, this is this is the this is the stuff. This is the stuff. This is the beginning of my journey, guys. Here's the beginning of my journey. Now imagine. So, it should be interesting. I wanna I'm gonna try and stick with this journey as best as I can, and try and get this clothing label up. Um, this will be this is the first video of an actual bulk order, so I want to be able to look back on this video in a year's time, two years time, or however long, and rather than just seeing just one box, I want to have like multiple boxes, maybe even a warehouse. If I did, if I do well, guys, if I do well, then you can you can go back and look at the old this this, this video here from where i'll probably be hopefully in the future i'll be in my big warehouse with hundreds if not thousands of boxes of my clothes you know and i can look back on this video and be like wow i remember when i had this i got my first bulk order in my living room in my house you know just filled with tracksuits the t-shirts ain't even here yet but i've had to sell these tracksuits um both online face to face to people as well because that's what you know i'm just starting out no one knows who i am you know they don't know who i am they don't know what it is i'm trying to do here um all they can see is that i'm trying to ting and hopefully they want to support a brother in doing that you know so yeah excited exciting times ahead guys exciting times ahead so watch this space um next video will probably be talking about my approach to selling these clothes um, it's probably going to be through friends, um, as well as um, strangers on the internet. Um, I've got to do a organise a photo shoot for this stuff. Obviously, we're going to have to sort this mess out. Because look at the state of this face. But yeah, we're going to sort out, sort out this mess. Call up a couple of my boys. Get them in these clothes. We're going to do a quick photo shoot then market it on the internet and sell these clothes out get the money order and put the most majority of the money back in the business to buy more product and sell out again um yeah so that's the plan um let's see how we do shall we um the next video i'll be talking about my website and advertising so yeah i'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be about but yeah I'm starving. I need to get something to eat. Um, yeah. I'm going to sign off on that note. Peace. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, let me know your thoughts on the, the, the packaging or whatever else. Or I don't know. Anything in terms of clothes. Ask me a question. Put it in the notification below. And um, tune in next week to see how we've done in selling this stuff. See how far we've got. See how many items are still left. See if there's anything left in this box. Um, I've got to figure out how many of each size I've actually got to know how much I've even got to, what to sell to who right now. So, yeah, once I figure that out, I can put it on the site and whatnot. But, yeah, have a good one, guys. Peace out.